Francisco. And here goes CJ van der Linde. Erasmus, wonderful little play there by CJ van der Linde. You've certainly entered into the spirit of the game. You've, you've moved the ball around. You did that uh, at Pukekohe last week. You do play an attractive style of uh, play. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> we'd like to be known as a team that win that way. Be nice if they could finish with a flourish. Erasmus, Rassi Erasmus, and they do. It's their outstanding captain. Rossi Erasmus, who scores the last try of the match. Rossi Erasmus, two tries, captain courageous. Uh, everybody wrote you off, and here you are with a victory. Uh, how does it feel? No, we're just very glad. You know, um, we still believe in our, in our hearts we can make the semis. I think there's a step towards that. It's always tough playing here, and uh, it's always nice playing here, and we're just glad we had the win. Uh, talk us through the two tries. The first one, you were obviously certain that you'd grounded it straight away. Why weren't you said? <laughs> <laughs> Still the cats keep coming, Mulder, Chester Williams, will he see Jan Erasmus? Erasmus has run off the ball brilliantly! Well, you say a bit of luck, but you actually ran a very clever angle uh, off Chester Williams' pass. If you'd gone wide, then you probably wouldn't have made it, so you, so you cut back in. Did, did you have enough time to think about that? I think it was just a tie to try and run, run around the guys. The Crusaders strong on defence, Forza will gain. Erasmus, captain's try! That's the bonus point. Tidy, uh, this is a chance here for Jus van der Beek. Has it inside to Erasmus, brilliantly. Erasmus, Erasmus has got that touchdown. But uh, Schwanepoel got it away for De Beer. De Beer, a clean through, and it's a try for Erasmus. The flag forward in support of his stand-up half. There it comes now to Trotsky. Can South Africa get over? The ball is theirs. They've just got to get it out. Aitken, quickly through the hands to Erasmus! Today is a special day on Paga because we get to honour a former Springbok and a current Springbok coach, Rossi Erasmus. Joining us right here in the studio, Rossi Erasmus, his teammates throughout all the levels. Uh, they call him Smiley, uh, Werner Swanopo, uh, former Springbok, Cats, uh, and Cheetah's scrum half. Next to him, the knighted one, <laughs> Sir Jack. Uh, 1987 Springbok uh, with Saru. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, 1987 Player of the Year and former uh, Saru and Springbok flanker. Uh, Rossi, 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 Rossi. So much to say, just so much to ask. My gosh, man. Congratulations, first of all, on everything that you've achieved in your career. Thanks, Fiona. Rossi, when did you fall in love with this game of rugby? Yeah, Kuna, I was, I was fortunate enough to grow up in a town called Dispatch where, where rugby was the, you know, everybody lived and breathed it. And there's some great names there like Donny Gerber, you know, uh, Franz Erasmus, Puerto Iman. Puerto Iman was my neighbor for, for, for 14 years. He's the guy that, with my mom, took me the first day to school, Puerto Iman. Yeah. We lived right next Corrid to one another. Current other. assistant coach of the Bulls. Of the Bulls, mm. you know. So the, so the rugby club was, was, was really a, a great scene. And everybody went there Thursday, Friday and Saturdays. And they won the club champs in those days. So you had to play rugby. And I just fell in love with the game there. So I was mm. fortunate enough to. And, we, and, and myself as an Eastern Caper, I'm going to claim you as our product. Yeah. Coming from dispatch. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am an Eastern yeah. Caper, full on. Yeah, Smiley. Yeah, I think that's debatable. Obviously, he's from <laughs> dispatch, but uh, I think he played his real de first game of decent rugby uh, at, at Bloemfontein, uh, at yeah. Pre-State. Obviously, we met, Rossi was in the army, and then he came to, to, uh, to Varsity. And uh, I would like to claim that, uh, obviously, it's an ex-Springbok captain, yeah, but I think his first real captain that he played under was me. So maybe I had something to do with that <laughs> going into the future. He learned from the best. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, Jack, uh, your thoughts on this man as a player? Uh, I think, I think no, the, the cheetahs got a ready-made product. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we've done all the spade work, <clears throat> they got a ready-made. In fact, um, I, when I watched him, first and foremost, I always say this, <clears throat> excuse, uh, if you check on the, the, ho the host or the anchor of the show, is a flanker, <laughs> the coach is a flanker. <laughs> and no, we had a little bit of flexibility. We squeezed in a scrum off. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guy. <laughs> I think I watched him and uh, I admire Rassi, when I, when, when, whatever I picked up from Rassi during his playing days, he never had speed. 
but always <laughs> at the right time, at the right place. He had good timing. He had a timing. <laughs> I don't know whether he had an opportunity to go to the hood when he was staying <laughs> in, <laughs> in dispatch yeah. to see his running club because I saw a lot of his tries. It was only five, three meters <laughs> to the scoring line. <laughs> the only longest one is the one that he got yeah. from... Uh, from uh, Chester. From Chester, Chester. He, which was also a, be <laughs> a beautiful try because he sliced through. His running lines made him yeah. even quicker to get into the scoring but, line. But didn't he have to add pace when he was running next to Chester? <laughs> 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 I, think, I think what was important there is Chester's pass. <laughs> because Chester yeah. made a lobbing pass there, yeah. which a little bit delayed for him <laughs> to get it through. <laughs> and you only kept in the box one test. Yes. Um, but the stories that had come out is that you had been offered the job for a longer term. Yeah. I don't know how true that was. Yeah. And you had turned it down. Why? Yeah, because no, um, I think some guys have different goals in life, you know. Um, and for me, uh, uh, being a captain wasn't the big thing for me, you know. It was, it was m making a plan and seeing if the plan's working. You don't have to do that as a mm. captain. I know there's a lot of guys who want to be captains, you know. Sure. And I was a naughty guy, you know. You can ask, <laughs> ask Smiley and the team. We were busy, you know. And okay, we can the, discuss that off air. Yeah, we can discuss, <laughs> we can discuss that off air. So, so, you know, I, I just didn't... So feel this I was, combination. Yeah, this yeah. combination. I just didn't feel I was the right fit at that time okay. to be the Springbok captain. That's why I said no for a few times. Okay. Well, um, after the break, we're going to be chatting about Rax's career as a coach, but take a look at the brilliant try that Rossi Rasmus scored against Ireland. Found the best season, the chip through into space. Back there goes Bishop. Oh, he did well. He did well. His fullback could have landed in hospital if he'd given him that pass, but there's Erasmus. Erasmus is away, and I think he's going to make it. A great effort there by Andrew Ward, but Erasmus has scored the first try of the match. A sudden breakaway out of the blue. Does well there because Paul O'Shea would not have appreciated the pass. He goes to ground, but crucially, South Africa win the ball, move it away from the contact area. And Erasmus has a clear run in, but what great pace. And look who's outside him, Bobby Skinstad. What a, what a tearaway pair. 